book genres. The first thing you might be wondering is, what is a genre? Genres can be categories of books, music, or art. For example, with music, one genre would be rock and roll. Another would be rhythm and blues. With books, you can see there are many genres as shown on your screen. The word genre comes from the French language and means kind, as in types or categories of things. How is it pronounced? Because genre is French, it can seem tricky to pronounce, but it does follow one of our spelling rules. The G sounds like a J, so we use the soft G rule, knowing that when G is followed by a snake letter, an I, E, or Y, it uses the soft sound. Therefore, we pronounce it genre. By now, I'm sure you're wondering, what are some book genres? Most genres fall into two categories, fiction or nonfiction. There is also the genre of poetry, but we will be mainly focusing on these two categories this year. Fiction genres include realistic fiction, historical fiction, science fiction, fantasy, mystery, fairy tales, and in many cases, graphic novels. You can see by looking at the image on your screen, there are even more subgenres or smaller categories of books that fall under the categories I've just mentioned. Nonfiction includes books that are considered informational or biographical. Informational books tell all about a topic or subject, and they can even explain how to do something. Biographical books inform the reader about a person's life. Biographies are written about someone else, and autobiographies are written by the person the book is about. Graphic novels can be fiction or nonfiction depending upon whether it tells a story, making it fiction, or is informing the reader, which makes it nonfiction. Poetry is a genre as well. Poems often sound musical or lyrical and can rhyme or take special shapes. There are many different types of poems, but poems can be grouped into books called collections. Poetry can be either fiction or nonfiction depending upon the topic the author has chosen. So why is this important? Well, good readers choose books that are just right. To choose a book that is just right, you must choose a book that you can decode. In other words, the book needs to contain mostly words you can read with ease, but being able to read all the words doesn't make a book just right. You also need to make sure the book is appealing or interesting to you. If you can read all the words and it's interesting, then it is just right. By now, you may be wondering, how can genres help me with selecting a just right book? When you know the genres or categories that the books you like fall into, you are more easily able to find books that are similar to ones you already like. Also, by knowing genres, you can stretch your reading by trying out books you might not normally select. Lastly, when you know what your friends like and they know what you like and you know what genre the books are, you can help each other by recommending books that your friends might enjoy. Now that you know what a genre is, let's take a closer look at the types of genres and what kinds of books you might find in our classroom library that match the genres you enjoy. Realistic fiction is a type of fiction that reflects things that could happen every day to you or me. The characters are regular people. The setting, or where the story takes place, occurs in modern day times, times like we are living in now. And the events are all things that might happen to regular people. So while it all could happen, it's fiction because the stories are made up. Some examples of books you might love in our classroom library include everybody's favorite sassafras, Junie B. Jones. There's Ivy and Bean, Billy B. Brown, the Hey Jack series, Stink, Judy Moody's little brother, and Yasmeen. We have many more books that fall into the category of realistic fiction, but these are a few with which you may already be familiar. So do you like one of these? Then you may want to look into finding more realistic fiction in the classroom. Historical fiction is a type of fiction written about events in history. The characters are typically regular people that may or may not have existed long ago. The settings are in real places that took place long ago and the events are all things that really could have happened and are often connected to famous events in history. 
some of the most popular historical fiction we have in the classroom, includes the I Survived series, which center around catastrophic events in history. We have many more picture books to choose from as well. Science fiction includes books where the characters are regular people with special powers, and possibly characters who are non-humans, like robots or zombies. The setting for these stories can take place now, but often takes place in futuristic times. The events that occur in science fiction are often things that might happen in real life with some sort of scientific or futuristic twist. We have a variety of science fiction in our library, but some of the most popular series include Franny K. Stein, Frank Einstein, the Jedi Academy series, and Diary of a Minecraft Zombie. Fantasy is a very popular fiction genre. The characters in these stories are often regular people with special powers or abilities, talking animals or even objects that come to life. Fantasy books can take place in the past, present, or future and can be in real or made up places. The events in fantasy stories are often fantastical. They range anywhere from slightly different than real life to very different from real life. A few book series you may be familiar with in the fantasy genre include the Rainbow Magic Fairy series, Princess in Black, Magic Treehouse, Inspector Flytrap, Owl Diaries, Dragon Masters, and Kung Pao Chicken. If fantasy books are your jam, we can definitely hook you up. Mysteries are another popular genre among kids and adults alike. The characters are regular people and the stories take place in today's world or in past times. The places can be real or fictional. The events of the story follow a predictable pattern. There's a problem or mystery the characters have to solve and the stories contain a lot of suspense that keeps you guessing until the end when the mystery is usually solved. Mysteries that have been popular with students in the past include Cam Jansen, Nate the Great, The Notebook of Doom, The Calendar Mysteries and A to Z Mysteries, both of which are written by the same author, and The Bad Guy series. One genre you're likely very familiar with are fairy tales and other traditional literature, which includes fables, myths, legends, tall tales, and folk tales. One reason you may be familiar with this genre is that Disney has made lots of movies based on popular fairy tales with which you may be familiar, like Snow White, Cinderella, and Tangled, the story of Rapunzel. Fairy tales are handed down through generations of storytelling, and often there are versions of fairy tales from many different cultures of the world. Fairy tales and traditional literature commonly include a moral or a lesson that can teach you something about how to behave. Many fairy tales include magic and talking animals. What are a few of your favorite fairy tales? In our library, we've worked hard to collect many versions of some of the most popular tales, including Red Riding Hood, The Three Little Pigs, and Cinderella. Here you can see other versions of these tales. We have many more fairy tales you can check out as well, including what are called fractured fairy tales or fairy tales told from alternate points of view. For example, the three little pigs being told from the wolf's perspective or why Cinderella is so annoying as told by her wicked stepmother. If you like fairy tales, you are sure to find one you will enjoy in our classroom library. Graphic novels are all the rage with students these days. These books use words and pictures in a comic book style to tell a story. They use speech bubbles and sound effects called onomatopoeia to make the stories more interesting. Graphic novels can be fiction or nonfiction, although we have many more fiction graphic novels in our library than nonfiction. As you can see, Dogman, Fly Guy, and the Narwhal and Jelly series are just a few of our classroom favorites, and we have graphic novels that range in length from picture books to chapter book length. While fiction can be broken down into many genres, nonfiction has only a few genres with many different topics and subjects informational texts tell facts about a topic. They may explain how to do something or how a scientific concept works. Informational books frequently have text features like photographs, captions, bold text, and maps to more clearly inform the reader about a topic. Our classroom is filled with non-fiction, and if you have a particular passion, we can likely find a book to match your interest. 
We have books about animals, insects, plants, life cycles, vehicles, dinosaurs, outer space, history, and more. Second graders especially love reading the Who Would Win series to find out which amazingly ferocious creatures would win if placed in a head-to-head -head battle. And if you love history, there's books to help you learn more and understand how the world has changed over time. Biographies are books filled with facts about a person or a group of people. They can be long or short and are all true. If a person writes a book about his or her own life, it's called an autobiography. Our classroom library contains many biographies about important people in history. Some of these individuals lived and died long ago, and some are still living and inspiring us today. The I Am series is a series that is written in a similar style to graphic novels, while the Who Was series are chapter books that inform the reader much more in depth about these famous individuals. Choosing books is as easy as one, two, three especially if you know what you like and the genres those interests connect with. First, browse the books in our classroom library that look interesting to you. Second, try reading a page or two and ask yourself, can I read the words? Is it interesting? Lastly, if the answer is yes, add the book to your book box and start reading. Now that you know all about book genres, I want you to take a survey about your reading preferences. This will give me a good idea of the kind of books you are already reading and enjoying, and it will also help me to help you find books you're absolutely going to love reading.